Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Well, Emily is here. Pushing versus pulling, playing. The most important topic on earth. <laughs> We're gonna talk about today how to play from our heart. Uh, when I was in conservatory, my teacher would sometimes mention that I am pushing music while playing. Or I'm playing like a good student trying to make everything right, or I'm playing like a proper teacher. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm sure all of us also heard this expression that we need to learn notes to be able to forget those notes later on and just in, let the music flow. So that time I kind of felt what my teacher was referring to, but I really didn't know how to fix this. Now I know the difference and I'm going to explain to you like in a moment, but uh, before I even go ahead and uh, tell you all the causes of that push and playing and all the steps how to achieve that um, expressive playing when you pull hearts of your audience. Let me just give you an example of playing with pushing feeling and then playing with freedom so you will get a clear picture of what we're going to talk about today. So playing with pushing feeling is when you really tune into what you need to do while playing like i would think about okay i need to think about this and that <laughs> and uh, this is how it would sound like and i would try to make it everything like very accurately and properly to absolutely abstract feeling something that is deep within you <laughs> I know all of you can understand so and basically while playing you simply speak out your heart so let's just experiment and see the difference forget about everything <laughs> you see my mind is still like okay tasks tasks just erase it just erase it completely just pick out your heart changes the sound, how that changes how you feel while I'm playing. So yeah guys, so let's talk about this right now, <laughs> how to achieve this kind of play. Uh, if you're a listener, it's very easy to identify that push in playing. You would be left with a feeling that you didn't really get the music, um, music really didn't touch your heart, and you would probably even doubt if the performer himself uh, can understand what the music is about. On the other hand, if you're witnessing a playing from heart, 
that will pull your soul to performer. I mean, every note, every sound would directly penetrate to your heart, would make so much sense, emotional sense to you. And definitely you will be left with a wonderful feeling being in harmony and mm, being in resonance with the music. In my tutorials, I would sometimes mention that um, all these musical means of expression, that when they learn all this correct piece analysis and learning, are for us to eventually forget about in the very last stage of preparing the piece. Uh, let me explain what I mean. So, if I would try to make a good analogy, I would say that these musical means of expressions are like um, details in a car. Uh, so yes, they are very well um, and precisely calculated. Yes, they are assembled in a certain order uh, to make a good quality car. But eventually, when we're about to have a good um, when, ride, we really don't care about all these details. <laughs> we just want to enjoy our ride. And we can go as far as we want, um, we can enjoy the scenery, you know, stars, sunsets, we can meet wonderful people on the way. It all serves to enjoy the love of creation. <laughs> you know, I could make a very good commercial with this speech. <laughs> well, anyways, so the same thing with music. Yes, piano system is about very calculated movements, um, what to think, which way to go, up, down, right, left, but eventually it all serves uh, to create, it all serves to express. So we need to shift our focus from um, trying to make all this musical of expression nicely to something much bigger and much more meaningful, to expressing our soul, to to, to speaking out our heart. Now let me explain how it all works. If you are a professional pianist, you might have experienced building blockages while playing. It all caused by uh, pushing and trying too hard to play piano well. It also caused by lack of knowledge uh, how to exactly play expressively when our teachers would ask you so. And we all know our teachers always ask you to do this. <laughs> and so because we really don't know how to convey our emotions uh, through playing, we would start accumulating this energy within us and that would build those blockages on the, on the way of natural flow of music from our heart. Now, when you're learning that all the music is created in between notes, that when we uh, play, we internally sing notes, not just like ah, but ah. So, um, we're kind of opening the gate for our heart to be expressed through music. And when um, we tune, we need to completely focus on our inner world, our um, emotions, feelings, soul, and heart, spirit then we simply would feel that um, we are speaking out our heart in this distance in between notes. And uh, actually the feeling kind of is accumulated in your stomach area. I actually now doubt where our heart is, maybe not here, maybe not somewhere there. <laughs> or maybe our spirit is there. Anyway, so this is why we're playing piano, right? And to create, to, to express ourselves, um, to communicate without words, because this is the purest way of communication when through music and it just goes from one heart to another heart directly. And this is how we actually manifest in this life our soul and our spirit. All right, so. <laughs> Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed that video and I see you in my next one. Bye bye. Alright guys, so after this speech I felt like I want to create something on the spot. So I'm gonna play this whole piece. I I mind my exam mistakes, I don't care <laughs> because I it's been a while I played, but let's see let's see what my heart wants today. <laughs>
Perfectly perfect. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy my playing. <laughs> Alright, bye bye again. See you in my next video.